Breaking news and the headline reads The headline of an article on the Nigeria website Daily Excessive claims former Nigeria President Olusegun Obasanjo said US President Donald Trump knew that Muhammad Buhari, Nigeria's current president, was in fact dead. The statement reads You think Trump doesn't know that Buhari is dead? America knows and they are coming and those who are running this president this present government in Nigeria with a ghost president or rather an impostor will be held accountable or Basanjo thunders. The articles published on 13th January 2020 and its headline shared on Facebook. Obasanjo was Nigeria's military ruler from 1976 to 1979 and its president from 1999 to 2007. The news concluded. So my people, you can see by yourself what we are talking about. We told you that Muhammad Buhari was long dead, but people never believe it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, sukwele nyo. Oh, sukwele ome la kosi eme. Ubuwa onye ne kuwa kuwa bo Lushegu Obasanjo, the former head of state. The former president of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria is the one who has spoken that Muhammad Buhari is dead and Donald Trump knows about it, that America knows about it. Go to Daily Excessive is a Nigeria website, Nigeria uh, media, Nigeria media, not Biafra. <laughs> it's a Nigeria media, not Biafra media. So this is exactly what we are talking about, my people. It is real. It is happening. People have beginning to speak up. People have beginning to rise up. People have beginning to rise up. For how long will you keep quiet and the only four men, only, only four men spearheading by Abakiare running the whole of the zoo? The most populous black nation in the world. 220 million. Only four men spearheading by Abba Kiare, the blood sucker, is running the zoo, deceiving 220 million population, using military to cow everyone, using military to, 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 to assassinate those who want to speak up. Now, Obasanjo have spoken. I want to see Tukur Boko Haram Buratai. What else is he going to do? I want to see what Tukur Boko Buratai will do next. I, is he going to send his boys to go either to assassinate Obasanjo or to arrest him and put him in Kuja prison? I want to see what Tukur Boko Haram Buratai is going to do next. Mazin Nam said it in 2017. To cool Boko Buratai, sent his boys to kill him. They couldn't succeed. Therefore, sending the DSS to arrest him and put him in, put him in the dungeon of DSS for roughly two years. Yet, the light was never been covered. The light keep on shining in the life of our indomitable leader Mazinam Dekano. He keep on shining until today and he will continue shining until Biafra is restored. Today, Obasanjo have spoken. The other day, it was Rochas Okorocha, Rochas Okrawosa. Okrawosa said Buhari is dead, that he has an evidence. He made this comment when he was threatened. He made this comment. Immediately, they refused him to put his son-in-law as Imo State government, uh, governor. He made this comment and nothing happened. He said, let them come and touch him, that he will show now the one. He will say the one. He, 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 he couldn't tell Biafra United Channel correspondent. Live in his hometown during the New Year festival. And up to today, the video went viral. Up to today, Rocha Sokrawosa has not debunked the statement. So what are we talking about? Today, Chief Olusegu Obasanjo 
have spoken that Muhammad Buhari is long, long gone and buried elsewhere. That is either a ghost president or an imposter that is running the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. So that is what we are talking about, my people. I want people now to speak. I want those Janjaweed military to go to arrest or to assassinate Lusego Basanjo for the whole world to see. I want those Janjaweed Awo Safulani Bambiyalas to come to Biafra United Channel to blab, to write nonsense. I will send you to Olisego Obasanjo to go to talk to him, to do whatever you want to do there. He has spoken. I want to use this medium to let the whole world to know that the person running Nigeria as the Nigerian president is an imposter. His name is called to, uh, uh, Jubri El Sudani from Sudan. He was recruited by Abba Kiari, Maman Daura, Dambazu, and so on, including Tukur Buharam, Boko Haram Buratai, the chief of army staff. They recruited him for them to use it to, to use him to keep power in the north. Because they sworn that they would never allow power to go down to the south again. They do not trust the Yorubas. And they have been a long, they have been in enmity with the Biafrans long from the beginning of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. So they use Jubri El Sudani to keep power in the north and thereby subjugating the whole population. So that is exactly what we are talking about. The person who has spoken is Olusegu Obasanjo, and the site is a Nigerian website, Daily Excessive. It's not from Biafra United Channel. Go there, you will see it. It is open. That is exactly what we are talking about, my people. Muhammad Buhari is dead and buried in Saudi Arabia. I want to use this medium to put the whole world on alert. I want to tell the American government that the person they are seeing there is not Muhammad Buhari that the population, the, 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 the Nigerian people voted for. This is an imposter president. They are using him, using him to manipulate the people. Stealing the money coming from the oil they sell from Biafra land and enriching themselves and therefore impoverishing the poor masses. I want to let the whole world to know the impunity, the evil that is going on in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. I want the whole world to be aware why people are suffering in the zoo. I want them to know the reason why things are not working. I want them to know the reason why there is nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing that have been that has that has been done since 2017. Up to today, nothing new. There is nothing new that has been done since 2017. Up to today, since Buari died. How comes this man, an old man? 80 something year, 85 year old man, become young overnight. Become a young man overnight. A man that, has, that was sick. A man that was falling. A breeze, ordinary breeze from a helicopter, was blowing Buhari away and was caught by camera. A, a, a minister helped him to stand. After the breeze tried to, to blow him away. Yes. All of a sudden. This man become healthy. All of a sudden. He become wealthy. All of a sudden. He became strong. All of a sudden. He became shorter. All of a sudden. He cannot even speak the Fufude. The Fulani native language. All of a sudden. He forgot how to talk his mother tongue. All of a sudden, he can no longer appear before the people he call his subject. I want America. I want the world, the world powers. I want the world powers to look into this. They should look into this and ask what is going on in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. I want them to look into this. The person who has spoken is the former president of the zoo. 
Let the world look into this. They should not allow an imposter to come to deceive them anymore in the United Nations. This man is an imposter. Let him come to talk to, the, to us. We are here. Let him come to talk to us face to face. He is not a ghost. He is not a masquerade that nobody can see who is inside. Let him come to talk to us face to face. We will ask him questions. Let him answer all, not the one that they recorded in Asorok and put in NTA and Channel TV. We don't want that. We want him face to face to question him. Yes. So that is it, my people. You have had it by yourself. Let everybody join hand together with our indomitable leader Mazen Nam Dekano to make sure that Biafra is liberated, to make sure that Biafra is restored. We are going home. Since people like Obasanjo have spoken, bear it on mind that it is the end of the road for the zoological republic.